I'm Larry Hart, and I'm professor of theology in the Graduate School of Theology in Oral Roberts University in Tulsa, Oklahoma. When I picked up the Believe book and leafed through it, I noticed that it follows generally the same uh, categories and sequence of topics that I cover in my theology classes. And what I thought made it so accessible was that it was just the scriptural foundations for all of these important teachings of the Bible. I think sometimes the way we have structured things in our churches and the loss of the Sunday school dynamic, even our small group dynamics have lost some of the teaching uh, ingredient that is so desperately needed. Our young people are vulnerable to every kind of aberration that comes down the pike, every kind of weird teaching or practice. They don't, have, they don't know the Word of God enough to know how to evaluate these things and how to respond to them. So we're really doing them a disservice. We lose this generation, we've lost the battle. And so I saw this as a tremendous tool for those in leadership roles in the local church. But I also saw it as something to, even more importantly, to help just the average saint in the local congregations uh, to, to get stronger foundations, uh, biblical and theological foundations for their life. I think that every person ought to look at this very seriously. I, I think they will be amazed at the power of the Word of God. I think they will be amazed that just turning themselves as God's people toward a more complete uh, exposure to God's Word will grow them not only individually in, in depth in their own faith life, but will literally grow their congregations. It is a discipleship tool. God called us to go and make disciples. And one of the most important things we do in that process is grounding them in the wonderful teachings of God's Word. So this, I can't think of a more useful tool to do that. What's so wonderfully rich about the Bible is that the Holy Spirit has so many ways he uses Scripture. It's the sword the Spirit wields, the Bible is. And uh, a charismatic pastor has a lot of leeway in terms of the messages he develops to go along with this entire experience. And obviously that can be a tremendously enriching Spirit-led in, uh, endeavor. And so I don't think there should be any anxiety at that point at all. And by the way, I think actually it's a tremendously uh, comforting thing to uh, let the scripture, as it were, set the agenda for that long period of time where you're just, okay, I know I can anticipate I'll be speaking and teaching in this area in the coming weeks. And it helps them to be really much better prepared. I have found as a pastor and a preacher that the sermons, the messages that have had a longer internal incubation period in me end up being much richer. Mm -hmm.